bloody show, no symptoms, no contractions whatsoever. I was past my 39th week already. And sabi ng doctor namin na if wala pa rin talaga by that time, by that day, then we'd have to go and get an ultrasound just to see if everything's okay. If my amniotic fluid was intact and everything, which it was. And it was actually a lot. Marami pa. And then when we went there, the doctor said na, okay, marami pa and, and you look fine and everything. So, okay. And then on the way back, you remember, I, I felt like my stomach tightening. Yeah. Prior to that, I never knew what a contraction felt like. But then that time, I felt my stomach kind of getting tighter. But I had to ask you, Pat. It didn't hurt, right? No, it didn't hurt. It, I just felt that it changed. So I had to ask you, love, is it tight? And then you it said was it really was. hard. It was, yeah. it was rock hard. So then when we got home, we chilled for a bit, and then I took a shower. And then right after, we had swab test ka dito sa baba. Yes. And while I was upstairs, this was around 7.30, Bigla na lang nag break yung water. And I was always told that it's not like the movies now. It's a gush and everything. Sometimes it's just a trickle, so you won't know the difference. But mine was like a gush. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a puddle underneath yeah. her, so it was a lot of water that was okay. just. Okay, it's, like, it's like, a, like a regular pee. And then with that, nakita ko na rin yung mucus blood. So it kind of all came at the same time. So I saw the I mucus blood. I just did. I showed it to you, the button. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But he was downstairs. He was getting his swab test done. Then I said, "Love, love." I should have kept the man shot. Now my water broke because there were strangers in the house. Yeah, and... love. That's so, all you yeah, heard. So love. And then I ran upstairs. But I'm a bit annoyed, Pasha, because, of course, I got the swab test. Just didn't tell him. Pasha. Okay. Anyways, I, I ran upstairs. Uh, she was in the walk-in and she said, I think my water broke and I looked down and it was a puddle of water. I had to change into something na comfortable because we had to take a picture pa <laughs> for, that we were gonna post online. So I wore a dress so I said, okay, well, my water broke naman na. I don't think it's gonna break them again. I was so wrong because when I was setting up the tripod to take a picture, it broke na naman. The water was everywhere and Louise was stepping on it. <laughs> So gross. <laughs> but it was funny when we got down. Like, I swear it was the most professional thing I've ever seen. The yun palayon, yung water stains, dress na sa likod. She was like, tara, bilisan na natin kasi my water broke. And we were like, oh my god. And because eh, if I give birth, all of a sudden we can't take the set up na natin. Eh, yeah, na set up. Ang bigit kay ano mga yun. Oh, sinet pa niya yung camera ha. Yun nga, <laughs> while I was squatting and fixing the tripod, which somebody else could have been doing, nag-water na naman, and daming water na naman na baba. So I just kept coming out. And that's one of the um, misconceptions, I guess. Because I thought, once your water breaks, yun na yun. Yeah. But the whole night, my water just kept breaking. Because uh, Dr. Uh, Granata told you that you had a lot of water. But... Yeah, I didn't realize how much though. It was so much because it just kept breaking and breaking the whole night. Relax na relax kasi wala pang contractions and walang anything but if your mucus plug comes out you have anywhere between like a day or a anywhere week from 10 hours yeah. to yeah, so you know, medyo matagal tagal pa. That's why I was waiting for those sites and they never came. And when your water breaks, yun yung talagang you have to give birth to it. Kasi that's normally the last thing that yeah. happens. Na, Before the uh, that's why goes. may mga ibangan na kailangan pa i break yung water nila. Eh, kasi hindi pa nag break. So this one, it, it really happened early. So, ang ginawa ko, <laughs> I walked around the house, nag squats pa ako, I got on my yoga ball and I started doing hip rotations. I started drinking a lot of red raspberry leaf tea and that actually made Help. me feel contractions. Pero wala pa rin yung talagang yung contractions na regular, I think, that I could feel. Pero sabi kasi ni, um, ng midwife ko, si Eileen, na my pain tolerance was really just so high. So, hindi ko maramdaman yung contractions. It was because I remember when we were here in the kitchen, she was leaning over the, the sink. She was already contracting then. And what she didn't know, she kept on asking, Am I, am I having contractions? Can you check if, my, if it's getting hard yes. again? Or, but it, it wasn't the normal feeling that she should be in pain or anything. No, she didn't even know that she was actually like about to give birth. <laughs> but Eileen checked me, and I was two centimeters to Eileen. So, medyo malayo pa naman talaga. Yeah. And then, at around 2 a.m., yun yung dito, nandito kami, down 
downstairs in the sink and I was bending already. Yeah. That's when I started to feel the surges and the waves. And when we were timing them, they were already two minutes apart. Yeah. So actually, nasa active labor na ako no time and I was already transitioning. So like, okay, whoa, I have to go upstairs. Yeah. So when we went upstairs, everything was uh, fixed already. Sila yun ang inflate ng pool. We were figuring it out through the process, but yung medyo na ano kami dun sa tubig, ang dami pa na malaki siya. So it takes a while. Because they said to inflate it will take like about 15 to 20 minutes, but to put the water there will take another 45 minutes. So, yeah. and then heat it up because it has to be a certain degree. And we don't know because normally I, I would have to go inside the pool to push na pag nandiyan na talaga. And you never know really when that's coming. So the, the pool has to stay hot. So yun yung mahirap. They just have to keep heating the yeah. pool over and over. So thank God for the kettle and the heaters because <laughs> yeah. they did their job that day. Honestly, you know, from the midwife and uh, the doula, they were all like trying to pour water 